would you be kind enough to send somebody down as soon as possible? I have another uh, journalist that's filming debit and credit card information and personal information for customers, which they're not allowed to do as wow. part of postal inspectors. You are lying. So would you, you be kind lying. enough to send somebody down, please? You are lying. Don't tell me this. Just who are you? So, hey, hold, it hold it up. Hold it up. You're, not you're, not you're, breaking, you're breaking people's privacy. Wow. You Go ahead. Do it. Down. Do it. Do I have any ID on me? No, I don't. No, I don't. I only I only give over ID when I have committed a crime. So unless you guys have reasonable, articulable suspicion, as the law states, that I've committed a crime, I don't provide ID. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Today we are at the United States Post Office here in Glassboro, New Jersey. We are here today to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas and to ensure that our public servants and public officials respect and honor that right. Let's get into it. Let's see if we can find um, poster seven here. I decided to come to this post office because Another auditor, Mama Bear Audits, was arrested right outside for disorderly conduct, as well as failure to ID. She committed no crimes here. So I wanted to see what's the reaction towards me and filming. Hi, ma'am. Hi, how are you? I was looking to speak. Is your postmaster still um, Mr. Lyon? Yes, he is. Uh, may I speak with him, please? Um, he's not in right now. He's on his lunch break. Oh, he's on his lunch break. Do you have a supervisor here, though? Um, not at this time, but there, yeah. There, I'm, there are no supervisors here at all. Well, we we just have two clerks and a postmaster. Oh, okay. There's no supervisors at this location. No, not at this location. It's and what time just, does it's just a retail? Oh, office. okay. What time does Mr. Lyon usually uh, um, come back from lunch? Be back around one. Around one o'clock. Yeah. Okay, like, great. Like fifteen minutes. All right. Thank yeah. you so much. All right. You're welcome. Hey, buddy. How are you? Hey, how are you? Good. I'm Tom. I'm the postmaster here. You're Tom. Yeah. Uh, Tom Lyon, right? Yeah, close, but that's okay. Lyons, yeah. Tom Lyons, mm -hmm. you're the postmaster here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, just, I, I want to address a couple things with you. Uh, first, a gentleman was really rude to me. He wouldn't give me his name, and he wasn't wearing a name tag. Okay. It's aren't not aren't required. you? It's not required by um, post office regulations for you to have a name tag. Even contractors are supposed to have a name tag that are contracted with the post office. No, but what's not allowed is you filming in a lobby where people have packages and their addresses and their credit card information. So oh, you're more than welcome I'm to not, film. You're not. I'm not filming. I'm not filming any credit card information or any packages. You're, you're saying something that you don't even know I that do. happened. You don't I know. Do. So you don't know, you, sir. I do. I do because you're filming in a lobby, right? Yeah, so correct. Just, let's just talk about it. And I'm I'm all for you doing whatever you have to do. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not contesting you. I'm just I'm just challenging where you're filming. Okay. So you're not allowed to film in this section where people have addresses exposed with their return address or, or the address exposed to where they're sending their package to. Nor are you allowed to film at the, at the counter where they're taking their debit or credit card out mm -hmm. and they're using that debit or credit card into the machine. So what makes you think that, what make, respectfully, what makes you think that I'm filming anybody's personal address or any credit card information? What, what leads you to suspect that? Because you're Could, filming, period. Because I'm filming, period? Yeah, so that means if that you're I'm, filming, period, yeah. Yeah. If you're filming, period, that means that you now have the ability to freeze that frame and focus in or zoom in on the address to or from for that specific package. But you wouldn't know if I caught that to film it. Just another quick question for you. I wouldn't know that this, until just, I looked at the film, and yeah. then obviously I'm not going to share that. But Exactly. So yeah. just another quick question for you. So, you know, I, I noticed that you guys don't have the Poster 7 rules and regulations of the post office anywhere, posted anywhere here in, in your lobby. And... You know, what, I, what's that poster? What poster seven rules and re it? it's the rules and regulations governing po conduct on postal property. Okay. So if you would have had that posted here, I would have been able to show it to you. Maybe you can pull it up on your computers because you are supposed to have it. I will be contacting the. Mask, the I will. Way? I will be contacting the inspector's office. That's fine. And uh, letting them know that you're not in compliance because okay. they're the rules and regulations governing conduct on gotcha. the postal property. Okay. So as the postmaster, you should be very well aware of those rules. Yeah. And you should have them posted freely for everyone to see. Every post office I've ever been to has them posted. This okay. is the first post office that I've seen 
that doesn't have it posted. Gotcha. And you were let know this, and, and you were made aware, uh, aware of this before I was. when another journalist came in here and they were asking you about Poster 7. You sure and you were very, that? and I'm very sure. Yeah. You were what very rude. You were journalist? very rude and condescending. You lied. What, what, hap- what happened was that yeah. you lied. What happened to that journalist? They were arrested because you lied. You oh, because lied. I lied. Because you, you oh. made false statements against the journalist, sir. Oh, gotcha. That's why they were arrested. So they arrested the like, journalist for my false statements. Correct. That's sure exact that. that's exactly what happened Did because you, get the you police report? You said, yes I do. You said that she was cre- you, you said that she was creating a disturbance, sir. She was. Were you here? So am I am Were I I here? saw the video, sir. And so she's doing exactly what I was doing. So am False. I creating a disturbance? False. She's not doing exactly what you were doing. Exactly. Because now you've decided to come out of the the lobby area and you've decided to take your filming over to the box section area where there is no expectation of a package or address and there is no credit or debit card information that's personal to people and citizens of the United States. So what you're doing is completely different than what Can you go get poster doing. seven, sir? Can you can you print no, that I'm out okay so right we can now. read it? There's no requirement to get it. Because right it now. says it says lobbies, foyers that I'm permitted to film in lobbies, foyers. Listen, that would be a that would be a lobby. I guarantee you hundred and ten percent you didn't even read Did it. You're not. Yes, you're not even. You're not even. You, yes, where is it? Know. You don't have it posted. You're not obviously doing your job okay, as a postmaster, maybe sir. Stole it. Maybe some. Oh, somebody stole it from last time too. I don't know. So you're not doing your job as a post as a okay. postmaster. Do you and have you, a mask, sir? That, that's irrelevant. What does that have to do with anything? For my it, safety and the other people's safety. And there's a lot of people who walk into this building without a mask, sir. It's not okay, a requirement. I'm just asking if you have one. I didn't say it's it was It's not a requirement, sir. I just sir. asked if you had one, sir. I'm just trying to tell you that you are doing a poor job running this post office, okay. sir. There is no expectation of privacy in public. You sure? Poster set on positive. Okay. Poster 7 explicitly states that journalists, news, commercial purposes, can film in the lobbies, corridors, and open areas of the public, sir. Which okay. would mean this area over here. Okay, I disagree. That would be this, but you don't even have it posted. So how can you disagree? Okay. Why wouldn't you? Oh, well, you don't have. I'm, it I'm letting. I'm you letting. Have it written, so I'm you letting don't... you know. It's not okay. my job. To, it's not my job to. It's, it's not my job to educate you on on your policies on on law. That's okay. actually the rules and regulations governing postal conduct on postal property is a law, sir. Okay. Now, did you need to do a transaction? Did you need? To I might, sir. Or... I'm gathering content for my story right now, and okay. um, I'm going to continue to film as I'm gathering content, and well, I'm going to conduct gonna business. Over there, you can film over here. Sir, so I can I can I can film anywhere in the public. If you I print out, that you can. if you and print, listen, it's very simple. If you it's, print, it's not an argument. Okay. Yeah, I'm not arguing with you okay, either. So Why would I argue with somebody who doesn't know the rules and regulations of the post office? Sir? I'm just going to give you some simple rules and instructions. Okay? Yeah, I don't need your rules, so I'm going to go ahead and anyway, step away no over problem. here. I don't need your rules. You should have your rules posted if you want to. If you want people to to no, no, okay. abide by the rules, you should have the rules Listen, posted. This isn't my first rodeo. Yeah, you've had an innocent person arrested before. Is that what you're going to do again? Am I creating a disturbance? Can't say I'm creating a disturbance. I'm not cursing. I'm not doing anything untoward. Thank you. You're setting a real good example from for the United States Postal Service here. I, am. I will have Actually, I will have I will have the postal that. inspectors I will have the postal inspectors come. Yeah. I know the rules. I completely agree with you. So why don't hey, you call the postal inspection? Post office. How are you? I hate to say this, but would you be kind enough to send somebody down as soon as possible? I have another uh, journalist that's filming debit and credit card information and personal information for customers, which they're not allowed to do as wow. postal inspectors. Wow, you are lying. So would you, you be kind lying. enough to send somebody down, please? You are lying. Don't tell me to shush. Who are you? Stop. Just leave me Who are you? Who are you to tell me to yeah, shush? Who are you? Hey. Phone. Hey. Can you have some respect? My, hey, mind your business and don't tell me what he's to just, do and don't shush me. One of those guys. Don't shush me. Mind your business, you. man. Courtesy. Yeah, you show me a little bit of courtesy Listen, first, and I'll show right courtesy. To say anything he wants yeah, and so do I. Right? Freedom of speech. And so do right? I. And okay. so do so I. He can say shush. Right? Unprofes- unprofessional. Okay. So it's, it's unprofessional. unprofessional. Then it's, it's unprofessional, unprofessional. Both ways, though, I don't. Right? I never told him to shush. I never told you, you to just shush. Told him to shut your mouth. Who is he? Yeah, because, because because of what he told me. Of okay. course, he has no right to. You have no right to shush me. Yeah. Respect his phone call. Respect his phone call in a public place. Come on, man. You're. you're why are you involving yourself? Why are you even involving yourself in this? It's okay. He just. That's his. What are you involving yourself? Yeah. My mo is to make your staff. Let me. Let me smile for you. You want to take a picture of me? Okay.
Gotcha. Okay. I was gonna smile for you. So why did you just lie to the police and said that I was filming credit card information when I'm clearly not? Let me hear some. So, but why did you just lie to the police, Mr. Lyons? Lion, like lying, right? So, Mr. Lyons, why are you? Why did you say that? They'll be here soon. Yeah, but why did you say that I was filming credit card information to to elicit a response? Were you in the lobby? Does that mean I wasn't in the lobby when nobody was there? No one's even in the lobby. Nobody was there at all. No one was in there at all. You sure about that? Yeah, for sure. Nobody with credit card information, so for sure. So if you your film up, you're over that side, and nobody's in the lobby whatsoever. I can guarantee you, there's no credit card information that's not what on. I asked. See, on. See, now you're changing your answer. No, that's not yeah. what I'm doing. That's you not said what I'm nobody doing. Nobody was over there. There is. I have no credit card. That's not what I asked. I have no. But that's, that's what you what said. I, no, that's not. But what that's I asked. what you said to the I police. Asked you a question, and you responded. But to you the question. said to the police. You said to the police that I was filming credit card information. You, you are. are. You are lying. You're that is lying. an outright lie. You're. You're. What do you mean? So I did not you. film credit let's, card information. Let's, let's talk about you show me the proof. If you give me a chance to talk, I'll explain. I mean, I've I've given you more than enough time to talk, but you can continue to talk. Go ahead. Okay. So how come you haven't returned over that section since I started talking to you? Why are you shaking? I'm not. Okay, I just want to make sure you're okay. I just wanted to make sure. You're a Yankees fan? Who's your of favorite player? Of course, of yeah. course. I don't want to talk to you about the Yankees. Why? I like the they're Yankees. not doing too good right now. They so, are doing too good. No, they're, they're not so doing they're too good. They're a game and a half out of the wild Yeah, no, we lost 10 in a row. I don't want, so listen. I don't want to talk about the Yankees. The Yankees are good, man. I don't want to talk about are the Yankees. I want, to, I want to talk to you about... I like the Mets about, too, though. The I want Mets to, are a good team. I want to talk to you about why are you Did lying you to the Sunday police officers? Game? It was a really good game. Why are you it lying was. to the police? That's despicable as a post that... You're, you're a public employee. You're a public Yankees servant. You're supposed to be serving the public. I don't have a so, sorry, so you're telling me I have to turn off my phone if I want to buy a stamp? Because that's my that's my intentions here, to buy a stamp. So I, I have to turn that. off my phone? Okay, I'm going to go buy a stamp now. Sorry. Okay, and I'm going to ask you kindly not to record Can over I'm, on that side of the lobby. So, if I, I have to turn off my, my video, my camera, to you buy a stamp. You didn't ask that. You said turn off your phone. My phone's on. No. Look, do I have to stop? Are you telling me that I have to stop? Are you telling me I have to stop filming to buy a stamp? Because I want to, I have cash here and I want to buy a stamp. I want services. If there's in the lobby... Then you can buy a stamp. I'm gonna but go buy. I'm gonna go buy a there's stamp. There's a customer over there right now. So, but I'm. She's. I'm not filming her. I'm not See, filming once her. Once you walk in there, you're gonna have her on film, no. and you could. There's a potential that you have her address. Or so, her for a, pot address. a potential of something is a crime, sir. No, I'm just asking you that you can't do that. Okay. Are okay? you? I, I want to make. I want to make it crime. very clear because you know you, you, you like to that, lie. That, you like you like to lie. So I, I want to make it clear. Are you are you telling me to leave? Are you telling me to leave the post office in any way? Are you telling me, me? Are you asking me to leave or telling me to leave the post office? No, not okay. at all. You're Great. more than welcome to buy a stamp. Great. Okay. Absolutely. I just want to make sure. Yeah. I'm going to go buy a stamp then. Okay. I'll be happy if you buy a stamp. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm, I mean, this is the this is the services that you provide to the public. Yeah. That is your job. This is a public service. I'm just trying to think of where you went to school. Is it hmm. local or is it New York? Hmm. Well, you could try and figure that one out. Yeah. I mean, you'll see. I, I say mean, it's local because you don't really have a heavy accent. No, nah. You don't have a New York accent. Really? Yeah. And you I've don't been told have a differently. Southern accent. Yeah. So, yeah, what, so what accent do I have? Local. Yeah. But then you became a Yankees fan, so you must have lived up there for a little bit. Look yeah. how patriotic this office is. I, I know it's very, it's very, patri yeah, it's very, it's very, it's very patriotic. The only thing you is that you don't have patriotic about it. You don't have your, you don't have your rules and regulations I posted. Yeah, uh, someone must have taken it down. No, that yeah. I will be. Listen, yeah, we just. I have, I have regular contact with the postal inspector's office. Regular Me too. contact with them. Yeah, and I'll be letting them know. They're really, a text message away. Yeah, I'll be letting them know. That's yeah. who you should call. You know, know that they're, you know, anybody. you know that they're the law enforcement agency of the post office. That's okay. We'll see. Not the right law enforcement agency in a few yeah. seconds. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. We will. Can is that a is that a threat? Film? No. Can you please not film that section? Am I filming that section? Well, you you're telling me to do something it. that I'm not doing. I, just, I didn't tell you. I asked you. Yeah. You're not okay. So you got. So I just want to make. Watch your words. I just want. No. You, you need to watch, watch your words. words. You told the police that I'm filming credit card information. That's a false statement to the police. Okay. Then you know, deal with that. the last person you deal you dealt with, she got you know, arrested. yeah, and she did. She didn't. She wasn't me. Remember that. She wasn't me. She wasn't me. I don't know what that means. Yeah. You will find out eventually. You will find out exactly who I am. You'll know exactly what everything you want to know about me, and the postal inspectors will be here. You, you know, I mean, if that's how you want to play, you're lying. What am I playing? Because you, you're you lied to the police officer, Were Mr. You Lyons. In that area? You, Mr. You Lyon, answered the question yet? I did not. Did I film credit cards? That's not what I asked. That's what you said. It's not what I. No, I didn't. You told. It's on camera. You okay. told them that I'm filming. You told them that I'm filming credit cards. That's Correct. what you just said. You're yeah. lying. That's okay. a lie, sir. So if we backed your film up, that's a lie. You I won't find you any question. credit cards on there. You don't know. You're that. lying. You I do know. know that because I know what I'm filming, okay. sir. So let me ask you a question. 
You haven't. You, you don't even give me a chance to talk, right? So if we. Back I do give you a chance to talk. Just so you know, mean? I do. No, 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 I do. I just stop. Cops. I'm done. You're okay. Ridiculous. Hello. Hello. How's it going? How you doing, sir? How's it going? Hi. So, can I can I just get your name and badge number just so? Sure. Badge number is nine one three six Officer Bernardo. Nice. Nice How's to meet you, sir. Going? Good. Hi, sir. So Can I get your name and badge number, please? Williams. Williams? Yep. He's in the lobby area filming, which he's not allowed to do in that section where people are using their debit and credit cards. Mm -hmm. and they're also so there's a uh, there's back. a regulation, uh, Poster 7, that it's the rules and it's the rules and conduct uh, governing uh, conduct on postal property, the rules and regulations. It's normally posted in post offices, but apparently this gentleman doesn't have it. You know. To film over here. And where am I? And he has he has since obliged since I've had a conversation with him, but he thinks he has every right to film in that section, which he does not, because okay. of people's personal information and because their personal information on their debit and credit, once that's exposed from the wall or whatever. There's no expectation of privacy yes, in public. There There's no expectation of privacy in public. This is a public building, sir. How long are you gonna stay here for? Um I'm just I'm an independent journalist gathering content for my story, so I'm gonna stay here for a little bit longer. Whenever I'm finished gathering my content, that's all. He had he had filed the force. He had filed. He had he had made a false claim that I was filming credit cards. That's the call that you got. I'm sure I'll, I'll be FOIA requesting the radio communications. Um, he had said that I was filming credit cards. That is a complete and utter lie, sir. I have not filmed any credit cards. That is a lie. The video will prove it. That's just not true. No no customer has complained that I was filming their credit cards. No one. He's never asked me to leave the property. I'm that. not breaking any. You don't know that. I do know that. You don't know. You that. don't know, so sir. Since you, you weren't even here. To me, do you have any conversation? Do you know any conversation with the clerk's side with the customers? Sir, you're you just don't. you're reaching for something no, to try and get me in trouble. But I'm gonna let know. I'm gonna let these officers know that I'm engaged in a constitutionally protected activity, freedom of press. I am press. And if you vi if you violate, I'm an independent journalist. If you if you violate that in any way, you will lose qualified yeah. immunity. Do you have any idea? I don't have any ID. No. Have no, no, no. I don't need one. I mean, I can make one, but I mean, what's the? I, I why waste the paper, okay. right? I don't need it. Do you have any ID on you? Do I have any ID on me? No, I don't. No, okay. I don't. I only I only give over ID when I have committed a crime. So unless you guys have reasonable, articulable suspicion, as the law states that I've committed a crime, I don't provide ID. So there has to be reasonable, articulable suspicion. I RAS. Understand that. Okay. I've been doing the job for twenty two. Okay, great. I'm glad. To, listen, it's not against you personally, officer. It's a lot of officers don't understand that sometimes. So, so when are you leaving? Huh? When are you leaving soon? Whenever I'm finished with my story, sir. Okay. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah, it sounds like he's just worried about the information from the credit card. Mm -hmm. and stuff. Do you know that there's no expectation of privacy in public, sir? Yes. Okay. Did you just hear the officer say what you disagreed with? But like, but like I said, it sounds like he's just worried about. He can be worried about it, and I can under. I can under listen. He can be worried about it, and I can understand that. But unless I'm outwardly, you know, trying to get somebody's credit card information, or somebody complains to you and says, "Hey, he grabbed my credit card information," mm -hmm. then there's no crime here. And if there's no crime, he's wasting the resources of the Glassboro Police Department because there's no crime. There's no reason you guys should be here. I'm being reasonable. You know, he's just calling you just to try and flex, just to try and flex his. <laughs> You know, whatever power or authority you think you have here, sir, it's okay. it, you have none. You are a public call. servant. Call the inspectors. That's who you should call. I work they, for the public. Place. Yeah, that's that. Yes, you do. You're a federal employee. You're a federal employee. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I don't even know if you guys have jurisdiction here. So, you know, jurisdiction falls would fall under the postal inspector's office, okay. which is the law enforcement division of the post office here. So. I don't know if you even have jurisdiction. You'd have, you would need what's called a memorandum of understanding between the United States Post Office and the Glassboro Police Department. And I don't know if you have it, but I would like to speak to a supervisor so I can see if you guys have that first. Supervisor. Your supervisor, do you know Do you know of any such memo between the post I'm not, office? I'm not sure. I don't, I don't have one handy. How you doing? You get sure, sir. I'm sorry. Sorry for blocking your way. Sorry about that. Hey, sir, can I get your name and badge number, please? What is it? I can't read that. Whalen. Whalen. And the and the number, your badge number? 9114. 9114. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. This is really uncalled for. We have three officers here for what? I mean, I'm just peacefully exercising my constitutional right. Or one of the police officers? Yeah. This is Alex Sylvester, the postal inspector. How's it going, sir? Yeah, of course. Perfect. How are you doing? All right, how are you? <laughs> 
There's no way. He, how do we even know that's a postal inspector? Just because you said so? I mean, I guess the burden of proof is uh, pretty low here. <laughs> I could I could call the president and put him on the phone. <laughs> I got his number. I could be like, here, you can talk to President uh, President Biden. I don't know. Right. Yeah, that's understandable. Yeah, we're, we're handling it. All right? Of course. Thank you, sir. Yep. Hello. All right. Anything else here? Please don't fill me your debit I'm not going to fill any debit cards. For sure. For sure I won't. Please don't get in anybody's way. For right? sure. And hopefully you leave soon. Yeah. Well, take care. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you guys got better things to do, right? Yeah, I mean, you right? Come on, I'm, I'm, I'm just filming. It's not like responsive. I understand because they're, I no, officer, I get it. I know you just you have to respond, especially he he made a call saying that I was filming people's credit card information. That would be that would be a crime if I was filming people's credit card information. But he's what he's basically saying just by me filming in here, I could, I could, I have the capability. You know, if I the capability of doing a crime is different than actually doing the crime. You know, right. so. Take care, officers. Mr. Lying. I'm sorry, Lions. Sorry. No, I'm okay. It's okay. So, um, you're fine. I'm, I'm Lions. I'm the postmaster. I just want to let you know that he's filming everything. So, if you're going to use a debit or credit to have the address exposed, just be careful because I don't want him taking it. Man, my intention is not to film your debit or credit card. Uh, credit card. Huh? Did you say debit or credit? Yeah, if you're going to use any of that, he's going to have the ability to film. No, no, ma'am. I'm not going to film it. So just be careful with what you do, that's all. No, ma'am, I'm not going to film it. I'm just an independent He's journalist. He's just filming everything. Yeah, I'm an independent so journalist. that being said, if I were to pull my wallet out and use my debit card, he's going to have the ability to access that information. You are that. really a liar. Just, just stop. I'm not going to film it, ma'am. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want him to, to scare you. I, I, I'll, I'm not even going to film you, okay? No problem, ma'am. No problem at all. Take care, guys. Stay safe, all right? You too. Did you uh, learn something today? Mr. Lyons? Is that the regulations? Was already up there. Oh, the, the regulations you just put up there? Yeah, That's great. Let me make sure I get it so I can. Oh, thank you. All right, thank you. Poster seven, right there. Well, you know, you called the police. It didn't have the same effect as it did on that poor woman. But, uh, somebody's mad. So the reason I came to this post office is because another auditor, Mama Bear Audits, was here doing exactly what I was doing. This same man, Mr. Lion, Mr. Lying, Mr. Lying, the postmaster here, called the police, made false statements just like he did against me. And um, the police believed him, and she was arrested for disturbing the peace, I believe, a disorderly conduct, as well as a failure to identify, which we all know that you do not have to identify unless you've committed a crime, which I explained to the officers. And uh, hopefully Mr. Lyons here, the postmaster, learned something here today. Truly hope he learned something here. He called the postal inspector, and I'm sure the postal inspector explained to him exactly what I explained to him. You're putting mail. You're putting mail up. Come on, man. That's real. 
That's real. Yeah. And, and, and okay, hold it up. Hold it up. You're you're breaking you're breaking people's privacy. Wow. Go ahead. Do it. Do it. Hold it up again. Hold it up again. Hold it up again. Say you're in a you're in a spot. Hold it up again. Hold it up again. Your reaction told you to turn the phone away, right? Yeah, be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold it up again. Hold it up again. Hold it up again. I won't turn it. I won't turn it away. That's really unprofessional for you. Let me ask you a question. Yeah, I'm gonna. I can't. I can't really hear you, so I'm gonna move up a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. So you want your rights to be considered and respected, correct? Correct. Okay. So why isn't it okay to respect you, your your fellow sir, Americans' you, you, rights? Sir, you, okay. Can I respond? Yeah. Sir, the only the only reason that I, I would have anybody's information is because you, like a child, put it up for I could, so I could see it. No, it's you not. did that as an employee of the post office, so you should be held liable for that person's privacy at this point, sir. Uh, why? Because I'm not filming it. You're but filming you, it. But you you put it in front of a camera, knowing that there no, is no I, expectation. I held it up in my did you work, hear the police? That, did you work. hear the police? There's no so expectation of privacy this. in public, sir. When a customer comes in and they're going to mouth something, right? Mm -hmm. If I move it from the scale to a container. Is that a violation too, or is sir, that just a you're holding it duties? up in front of a camera, sir? What did the postal inspector tell you? That I can't film credit cards, correct? correct. And I can't film personal information, correct? correct? Okay, I'm not doing any of those things. I other disagree than, with you. Other than what you just okay. So if you disagree, why don't you so just let me ask listen. you a question? Okay, right? I'm, I'm gonna listen. You just film the lobby. Yeah. This young lady that's behind you, that's writing her address. Uh huh. If I were to backtrack your camera, don't you have tell it. me that at no point at all you don't have her package on of your phone. Of course not. Of course I've not. Never, I've well, never. Then let's back it up. And I've look. never even came close to this woman here. Never. Right. You've only five feet away from her. But it doesn't Two matter. Two minutes ago. Uh, it does matter. It that's doesn't not matter. I'm, my, my, but my intention. You want your personal rights considered. No. No. Right? No. 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 I, yeah, it, yeah, there yeah. is no expectation of privacy in public. If I was doing my credit card transaction and I didn't want anybody to see me do it, I would make sure I cover it. There's no expectation, <laughs> right? right? Yeah. But just what just what the, just what the police there told some you. Some unwritten rules in the world. Unwritten, unwritten rules. rules. Yeah. Unwritten. You ready? Rules. Watch. You don't want to give me your name because you don't have to. Correct. Okay. So with that being said. Isn't there a fine line from a customer having some privacy of their own information without feeling the stress that they have to now worry and protect their personal information when they're doing a transaction? Sir, I'm not just in here just recording for no reason. I told you I'm an independent journalist and, I I have, and I'm not going to post. If I, if I were to take that. any credit card information that I've gotten from anybody and I use it, that's a crime, sir. So why would I do that? I'm, not, I'm a law-abiding citizen. So I would never hurt somebody so that why way. Why can't they just have that privacy without worrying? If because I also, because I have a, they have no expectation. What does the relevancy of this half of the building have compared to that half of the building? The relevancy of that, it's a public building and I can record in public. I completely public. understand it. I'm just asking you, what's the relevancy? The relevancy is that if I have the right to do it, why can't I do it? If I have the right to do it, it's very, I'm peacefully exercising my rights here. Do you do 200 miles an hour on, on Route 55? I don't have the right to do 255 sure miles an hour. Do. No, I don't. Why not? That would be breaking the law, sir. But you have the right to do it. No. See, you're getting, you're conflating the two, the ability to do something and then the right to do something. So you're conflating those two. Okay, so I have the ability have to go 255, right. but I don't have the right to go 255. So you have the, you thought that you had the right to film anything in here. In public, correct, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I said, and the postal inspector said, you don't have that yeah. right. Yeah, I you can't, I can't go up into film people's credit cards. That's not, you're still missing the point. <laughs> you ready? I'll show you an example. I don't want to see anybody's, uh, I mean, no, you could do this that. This is though. just a slip to send an international package or a registered piece, okay? Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you were back there 10 feet where you were before I came in and challenged you, yeah. are you, you telling you, me that you, your camera... Your challenge was... Well, you lost your challenge, by the way, but keep going. Because you want to you bring up the word challenge. You just can't ever stop, right? Did you win the awards for, like, debate? You must have been a great I'm winning debater. winning this debate, for sure. You want to go ahead and explain to me what you're saying? You're winning this debate, for sure. You haven't filmed... Yeah, you, you lied to the police and they left, sir. I that that means that's a win for me, sir. You lied to the police. I'm just asking you to kindly consider your fellow Americans and their privacy. Of course. I'm asking you That's to kindly it. consider my rights. That's what I'm asking you and to do. And I have. You haven't. You called the police on me. How, how un-American is that? It, you called un -American? men with You've called men with guns to deal with a man with a camera. I don't tell them to come armed. But you called them. For, why would you waste Why would you waste your, your, your town's resources like that? I'm not, not I'm not breaking a law. They were coming here anyway for a different issue. Today. Oh, they were coming here anyway. Yeah, because there's a missing person. Oh. So they wanted to use my uh, video surveillance to find a missing person mm. for a missing young girl that's in the area. So if they were coming here anyway, why would you have to call them? 
right? Because I wanted them here sooner. Oh, Bet. okay. All right, sir. Well, oh, you're leaving you now? take care. No, I'm not leaving yet. Oh. I just want to tell everybody he's filming everything. So if you have a debit or credit or address. Or I'm not credit, filming anybody's credit. debit or credit cards. Haven't done it. Stop it. Stop trying to incite he's something. He's Stop he's trying to incite something. something. That's very unprofessional of you as a postmaster. I'm informing them. Very unprofessional of you. You call it what you want. I am your customer. Don't you understand that? I am your customer. I am your customer. I'll protect you just as much as if they were filming you, I would protect you. Calling the police is not protecting me. Huh? Calling the police to arrest me is not protecting me. You didn't protect that you didn't protect that woman either. I didn't call them to arrest you. Okay. Yeah, you call you called them to have a little powwow to be my friends? Come on. Ridiculous. Yeah, I call the police all the time on people that I want to protect. All right, well, it seems like Tom uh, got his education today. And um, we'll get out of here. The police officers didn't violate our rights like they did uh, Mama Bear audits. Go check out her video. I'll link it in the description below so you guys can check that out. So you can see the complete and utter difference. She was arrested for doing exactly what I did. The law doesn't apply to everyone equally, apparently. Hey Tom, take care, okay? Listen, there's addresses on those packages. Yeah, take care Tom, okay? You have a good one. Yeah, you have a good one. Take care. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the water. Hey, nice meeting you. I'm glad, glad you got a little bit of an education today, man. Maybe you learned something. Yeah, great. Yeah, take care. You too. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're just getting out of the United States Post Office here in Glassboro, New Jersey. Overall, a pass and a fail. The pass goes to the police officers who did not violate my rights. The fail goes to the postmaster here for not posting the rules and regulations of the post office, for trying to escalate the situation and blatantly lie on his phone call with the police saying that I was recording people's credit card information. Boldface lie, Thomas Lyons, Tom Lying, the postmaster here in Glassboro, United States Post Office. Definitely a fail on his part. Hopefully he got educated when the police didn't do anything to support him and his lies or when the postal inspector that he called didn't support his lies. So apparently, you know, he learned something today. I believe that we have avenged the unlawful arrest here of Mama Bear Audits, arrested right out front of this post office. We uh, showed Mr. Lyons what it means to be a free American and a patriot, not to infringe on our constitutional rights and hopefully he truly learned something here today hopefully let me let me know what you guys think about the officers and uh, mr. Lyons the postmaster here in the comment section below I'll see you guys down there early as always stay safe God bless I'll see you in the next video Long Island audit peace